So we've got the cable to your house. Now we need to think about where a few pieces of important equipment are going to live inside your home. This box here is called the ETP. It stands for external termination point. It's the place where the fiber cable meets your house. From here, the fiber will end up inside and it'll be connected to this box. This one's called an ONT. That stands for optical network terminal. It's what your modem will be plugged into and the modem is where your Wi-Fi will be coming from. So it's important you decide exactly where you want your ONT to go to really experience the full benefits of having fiber. Your technician will recommend the best place for it. If possible, you could have it centrally located so all your devices spread around the house can connect. You could also put it next to data hungry devices like smart TVs, gaming consoles or computers. That way you can plug them straight into the modem. That'll give you a better quality connection and uninterrupted binge watching. Oh, and think about what else you'll be using your broadband for in the future. But at the end of the day, it's a decision you should make together based on what's physically possible and what will give you the best Wi-Fi experience. Done right, it'll even reach outside. Sweet. Now, once you've picked a place for your ONT, your technician will wire it all up and connect your ETP to your ONT. There are a few different ways we can do this, depending on your home and the location of your ONT. We can run the cable under the floor, through the roof cavity, and even through internal wall cavities if there's a hollow space. Then it'll pop up nice and discreetly, right next to the wall where your ONT is. Sometimes there might be a few obstacles we can't get around or through, so we'll surface mount the cabling to internal walls. As with all our installations, we try to do it as discreetly as possible. Shh. Hello? Landlines and alarms. Oh, that's coming up in the next video. No, I, I didn't forget.